Svatovsko-Kremensky Section, Strengthening of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Group Due to the Offensive of the Russian Armed Forces. Situation as of October 17, 2023. In the Svatovsky sector, Russian troops continue their systematic offensive from Plashchenka. Advancement through fortified areas and minefields is gradual in order to preserve the lives of personnel. The AFU's position is deteriorating due to active artillery and aviation strikes. For this reason, one of the units of the 4th Tank Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces was transferred to the Makivka-Nevska Line. Similarly, the movement of 150 people from the 25th Airborne Brigade to Novoselovka is noted. If the situation worsens, paratroopers of the 25th Brigade will also be transported to the Svatovsky site. Against the background of regular attacks by the Russian army on crossings through Oskol, Ukrainian formations sent pontoon formations to Borovea, which should build new bridges to diversify logistics. This will also make it possible to secure the supply of the Kupiansk group in the event of the destruction of the pontoons in that area. At the same time, the Ukrainian command expects a resumption of hostilities in the area of the Tor Ledge. 160 people from an unidentified formation were transferred to the Dybrov direction. The AFU's efforts are concentrated on the defense of already occupied lines. Despite the strengthening of the group, there are no prerequisites for an attack in this direction. But the intention to reduce the combat potential of the Russian armed forces can be seen in the increasingly frequent use of aviation and missile forces for attacks on the rear. And the main target, judging by the trend, is airfields. About the missile strike on Berdyansk. According to updated information, Ukrainian formations used not only atoms to attack the airfield in Berdyansk, photos of fragments of the M-74 cluster submunition appeared online, but also a cheaper version of the ground-launched small-diameter bomb or simply GLSDB. Six missiles were fired, three of which were shot down by air defense crews, and the other three hit their targets. Both GLDSB and Atoms are used from ground-based MLRS M270 and HIMARS, and the range of both exceeds 150 kilometers. The most likely launch area, taking into account the combat radius, is the Zaporizhzhia region. As a result of the combined attack, an ammunition depot was hit, and several helicopters received varying degrees of damage. Apparently, the Russian command did not expect such a strike on the airfield, although there were warnings about a possible raid. The advent of Atoms, GSLDB or other new long-range missiles will make adjustments to the use of army aviation. Otherwise, the situation with Chernobyvka at the beginning of the northern military district will be repeated, when carelessness caused the loss of several aircraft on the ground. Kursen Direction Activation of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on the Left Bank Situation as of October 17, 2023 Yesterday evening, at least four groups of the 35th and 36th Infantry Infantry Fighting Forces of the Katran Strike Group landed at the railway bridge on Ilshkinsky Island and tried to advance to Peschanovka and Aleshki. As a result of artillery fire on AFU movement areas, eight people were injured. The Marine advance was halted and the wounded were moved ashore for evacuation. Already at night, after the transfer of reinforcements from two Marine brigades, as well as the 140th Reconnaissance Battalion, detachments of Ukrainian formations again began to advance in groups of 10 to 20 people along the bridge in the directions of Poima and Peschanivka. Russian artillerymen again fired at a few assault groups in the southern part of Ailshkinsky Island causing them to take cover. And mortar crews from the right bank and FPV drone operators opened fire on RF positions. However, the advance was stopped. However, attempts to penetrate deeper into the territory will obviously continue. Also, a few hours ago, information appeared about the landing of the DRG in the Krynak area. There is no confirmation of this but the activity of reconnaissance groups at that point from Kozatsky Island is not new. Looking at the actions of the armed forces of Ukraine, consistent attempts to expand the bridgehead before the offensive are clearly visible. 
Today's attack on the airfield in Berdyansk is one of the preparatory stages. The use of ATACMS increases the level of threat to aviation even in the deep rear, which may force the command to pull it further away from the LBS. This will increase the period from departure to the activation of the aerospace forces to support ground forces, which is beneficial for the Ukrainian armed forces in the south. Given that the Berdyansk airfield is out of action for a time, the next target will likely be Zankoy and other bases in Crimea. They are one of the main obstacles to carrying out a full-scale operation on the Dnieper. Curse and Direction Breakthrough of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Towards Peschenivka Situation Towards the End of October 17, 2023 In the afternoon, two assault groups of the 35th and 36th Marine Brigades of the Ukrainian Navy, after regrouping, continued their attack along the railway bridge. As a result of the breakthrough, with the support of artillery and FPV drones, the Marines were able to occupy the village of Poima. There, a few units took up a perimeter defense, and after reinforcements arrived, they reached the northern outskirts of Peschenivka. According to some reports, several houses on the northern outskirts were occupied by Ukrainian formations. Artillery was intensively deployed in the areas where the armed forces of Ukraine are located, which is why the armed forces of Ukraine suffered losses. Some of the seriously wounded were evacuated to the northern part of the island. But nevertheless, the situation in Poima and Peschenivka now remains a mystery due to the fog of war. At the same time, on the opposite side, near Sadovoy and Pridnoprovsky, the 501st and 1st Battalions of the 36th Brigade, up to 300 people, are preparing to cross the Dnieper, whose task is to capture Peschenivka and reach Podstevna. At the same time, to the north of the Kozatsky and Melki Islands, several more assault groups of the Ukrainian Navy are preparing to attack the Cossack camp's Krinky Line. All day on October 17, weapons and ammunition were transferred from the Ingolets area. The tactical success of the assault detachments of the 36th Brigade creates the preconditions for a more active entry of the Katran strike group into battles in the Kherson direction. This is indirectly confirmed by the movement of counter-battery weapons to the contact line, such as the Cobra and n tpq 36 radars, as well as Bukovel electronic warfare stations, which, as a rule, are kept at a distance because of their value. And the question arises, how was such a breakthrough allowed to reach two populated areas? We wrote for several months that there is a bridgehead of the armed forces of Ukraine in the island zone and in some areas of the left bank of the Dnieper, but no measures were taken. I would like to believe that the threat will now be taken more seriously.